The MonsterVerse gets sillier and sillier in this latest cartoonish adventure that gives a lot of heart to the skyscraper-sized brawlers, but leaves its human characters by the wayside. Godzilla. X-Kong. The new empire fully leans into the silliness, but becomes a surprisingly dry affair whenever the two titular titans aren't on screen. Ten years after Gareth Edwards' Godzilla kickstarted Hollywood's answer, to decades of Japanese cult classics starring the iconic giant reptile, the legendary MonsterVerse is beginning to buckle under its own weight, featuring a bevy of forgettable human characters, including Rebecca Hall and Brian Tyree Henry. Returning from 2021 feats equally ludicrous Godzilla vs. Kong, the new empire wastes no time trying to get audiences invested in humanity. Instead, all the pathos is on Kong in this outing, who begins wandering the hollow earth as a primate pariah, mindlessly chewing up various monsters, polishing his axe, and looking for his missing species. His loneliness will be unexpectedly affecting for fans of the famous ape, but he's soon forced up to the surface by a toothache, and Dan Stevens' monster medical expert Trapper is called to assist. Kong's presence up top seemingly triggers Godzilla's primal instincts. Thus the stage is set for an all-out monster brawl. However, things take a sharp left turn when Kong stumbles across a young ape, Suko, who leads him to a hidden outpost of giant primates ruled by a cruel overlord, dubbed the Scar King. Meanwhile, Godzilla is benched after taking on an underwater titan, leaving Kong and his human companions to restore balance. With a plot straight out of a toy box and clunky dialogue to match, the new empire is a mind-melting distraction with just enough jaw-dropping action to keep the audience awake, but unfortunately, this franchise is getting more forgettable with each installment.